This video is brought to you by the Florida Tech Laser Array Senior Design Team. Our senior design project is a laser array. Our team consists of eight students who will explain their contributions to the project. The overall goal was to design and construct a blue light laser array with the capability to cut and or weld copper. We took a laser diode with a peak output power of 5 watts, operating in a wavelength of between 400 nanometers to 500 nanometers. This laser is considered a class 4 laser. The light is directed into a collimator which focuses the light beam to give us the highest optical output. Here in the machine shop is where all of our proprietary testing fixtures have been fabricated, such as the beam profiling camera stand, Peltier cooler mounting plate, and the collimator lens holder. The latter fixture was particularly challenging to fabricate as it needed both to be made of copper, which has a reputation for being difficult to machine, and to meet extremely precise dimensions to ensure the tight tolerance is required, and thus required multiple iterations before an acceptable product was achieved. Here, I'm disassembling and modifying a diode fixture so that the face of the fixture is as close to flush as possible with the face of the diode so that it may mate the collimator lens with as short of a gap as possible. Many fixtures required for the testing of our laser and the components of the final product had to be made from scratch here. Soldering has been one of the most impactful aspects of the laser array project. With this privilege, we were able to solder a resistor block to help control the flow of the electrical current through the laser. We also fused multiple connections from our electrical units, such as the power supply and wall box, creating a junction box to ensure the safety of our testing. Before the idea was brought to reality, we sketched a design involving a solid state relay that switches on or off when an external voltage is applied across its control terminals. Therefore, our design allows us to shut off the laser whenever an individual walks in a room during testing. Here, we have a demonstration of this idea in effect. My name is Andrew Eckblatt. I'm going to be talking about the Peltier Cooler operation for the Laser Array team. The Peltier Cooler is used to keep the Laser Array in an acceptable temperature range. The Peltier Cooler is controlled by a control system similar to the one depicted in this picture. The control system matches the temperature to the set temperature value. We conducted two tests, one with the resistor in free air and one with the resistor attached to the Peltier Cooler. The blue curve here depicts the resistor at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 watts. The orange curve depicts the temperature at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 12 watts. The temperature of the resistor attached to the Peltier cooler is significantly lower than the temperature of the resistor in free air. This picture shows that the Peltier cooler could be used for reducing the temperature of the laser diodes in the laser array. For my section of the board, I created a program that would take a picture of the laser and analyze it in order to find the size of the laser. The program uses the Python Imaging Library, otherwise known as PIL. OpenCV was also an option, however, PIL is more useful as it is directly utilized to make images and convert them to arrays, while OpenCV is more for analyzing the image itself. The way the program works is it takes in an input image and then converts it from its main color and converts that main color back into a blue minus the average of red and green, thus creating a grayscale image that should only be the blue laser. From there, it utilizes the distance the image is taken from in order to create a radius, and from there, it can use that radius to determine the width and height of the laser in radii. For purposes, the image is assumed to be taken from 4 inches. The final output is an image with both the width and the height, along with tick marks for each sixteenth of a radii that is one-fourth of an inch because it is four inches in radii. This clearly shows the height and width of the laser itself. Yeah!